so sorry. So good. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Jonesy, and welcome to another episode of Jonesy Comics. Alright, so it's Thursday, it's a good time to do some vlogging, but um, I'm actually going to do some... Oh my god, sorry. <laughs> I'm actually going to do a little bit of news for you guys, because um, some things have come up that have been really cool. Arkham Knight, real quick. The video game got released, it's the final end thing, the final end, really? That's where we're going with this? <laughs> this is starting off well. It got released. I hear it's awesome. I don't know. I'll have to find a friend or something who I can who owns it so I can play it because I don't have a console that is mine that I buy stuff on. Um, I could play it on a computer, but here's the problem. It got pulled from PCs. <laughs> well. Now there's been a lot of mixed reviews on what's going on with this. Basically, the computer version was running at about 30 frames per second, which, for those of you who don't know, that's half of the capabilities that it could be having uh, standard. I mean, there's even more you could go with, but 60 is a good number to have on a PC. Rocksteady decided to just take it off the shelf digitally for PC users. It's still available for the console. Here's my take on it. I'm glad they pulled it and recognized that there's a problem. I, I feel like if it's a PC game, you know, you have options when you do something like that. There's early accesses, there's alphas, betas, you know, whatever's going on. If you need to leave it in that for a while, that's fine. Um, I know more major game developers that do cross platforms, it's harder to do that but it is an option. At the same time, I'm glad that they took responsibility for what they did and they went ahead and pulled it because it's gonna show other game developers the importance of when you put your game out, it needs to be ready to go. If I was a developer and I knew that it was gonna take 90 more days to make sure that the PC version was good to go, I personally would just have to do that because it would have to be perfect anyway. But, I think it's a good. That's what's going on. I'm glad they pulled it. I hope it comes back out soon for you guys. Um, but other than that, I think it's a good. I'm glad that Rocksteady was able to be sort of a scapegoat that they made themselves to uh, the other game developers to make sure that that's not happening as often. Yay. <laughs> All right, next up. I woke up this morning uh, to find that I had not yet updated to the iOS 8.4 on my iPhone. So I checked it out and the biggest thing I noticed was Apple Music. Now what is Apple Music? It sounds pretty simple. It sounds like the music app that you've always had on your phone. But I guess there's new stuff and cool stuff so that's good, right? They've added in this new feature where you can handpick songs, stream them, you know, onto your phone, you know, whichever songs you want. They can recommend other songs based on that. Yada yada yada. Now, what does this sound really familiar yet? Because I'm gonna keep going, and it's gonna sound really familiar. All Apple users can get this three-month free trial of Apple Music to test it out, see how it's going, and then after the free trial they will go to $9.99 a month. Does it sound familiar yet? <laughs> so if it does sound familiar, say it with me. Here we go, what does this sound like? Spotify, that's right. So Apple has finally come out with their own competition against Spotify. Uh, that's pretty much all there is to say about it. The functionality is fine. Uh, it looks cool, it's nice and sleek just like Anything else in the iPhone looks futuristic, looks stylish, which is 
exactly what that company is all about. There's no bells and whistles. There's no nothing. I mean, it's just Spotify, basically. <laughs> this is starting off well. Apple's kind of been doing that, where they're just a little. They're like one step behind everything, and it's a really, it's a really long step. It's been, you know, Apple Radio came out, and that was basically it was supposed to be like iHeartRadio, Last FM, Pandora. So it took them a while to get to that point. So I mean, that's just how Apple rolls sometimes. You know, it's great, um, but the functionality is is really good. It works, works well. They knew that what they were doing. The reason people are getting disappointed about it already is because it got overhyped. Much like good movies or good books, it got way overhyped. Apple was talking about this for so long, so enthusiastically, only for it to be something we've already seen before. Now, why were they talking about this so much if there wasn't gonna be anything actually new? That's because now, this is where this is where Apple made a mistake. They wanted to get away with not paying royalties for the 90-day free trials. And of course, if you look in the news about Apple Music and this, that, and the other, you'll find that people like Taylor Swift, but I mean more than that, just a bunch of people in the music industry said no, <laughs> you have to pay royalties for our music if you want this on your, you know, software. If you want this to be on Apple Music, you're going to have to pay for it. So that's why it's gotten so overhyped, and that's why Apple really wants you to have it, because they are freaking out about, oh my gosh, we thought we were going to get away with this, and now we're not. We need to make up for that, but we have to give everybody a three-month free trial. Two things, if you don't like it, make sure that you cancel your free trial when it is wrapped up. Do not get charged for this if you really don't want to pay for it, because it should be something that you want. If you think that you want to go with Spotify or something else, please go ahead and do that. Second of all, Make sure that if you want to try out the free trial, you go ahead and do it soon because if you don't, there is a possibility that Apple could actually say, never mind with the three month free trial, it may be, it just be a month, it may just be like a 10 day free trial, seven day free trial, you know, all these different intervals. They may have to cut down on it because they realize that they can't afford to pay the royalties for those 90 days for everyone who wants to try it out. So just keep that in mind. If you want to try it out, you better try it out soon that could be revoked. I'm not, I, I have an iPhone because it was you know, given to me. Uh, I have not chosen a phone in quite a long time. So I'm not like for Android or for iPhone. So I'm just talking about this because it's news basically. Um, if you guys are like Apple haters, then you know, that's great. You guys are entitled to your own, your own opinion, but I'm not trying to cause any flack with you guys by talking about Apple products. So, there's pros and cons to everything, and I'm being fair. <laughs> Last thing I had to share with you guys, of course, Reader's Corner. <laughs> this week, I am reading Rat Queens, Volume 2. Now, I am really bad about this, uh, and I'll tell you why. I'm bad about remembering the names of the writers and the artists in this one, because I'm reading Volume 2, and Volume 2 is currently digital for me. I am not good at paying attention to those details on digital yet. My mind has not gone, hey, you need to, you know, utilize this experience in this way. Like, I'm not used to reading digital just yet, especially not on my computer. Um, I'm used to, if I'm going to read it, I'm going to read it on my tablet. So, anyway, I'm reading Rat Queens. Rat Queens is really cool. It's this fantasy world where um, there's different groups of mercenaries who you know, they get contract jobs to protect this town. And the group that you follow is really destructive. Uh, the town doesn't really like them very much, and they have a lot of backstory that, that is suggested that kind of demolishes their relationships with other characters um, in the comic. So if you're into that kind of thing, definitely check it out. Um, it's a lot of fun. Uh, it is adults only, 
for sure there's definitely uh, sexual and drug references in it so please don't let your kid re kids read it <laughs> but it's from Image Comics and most Image Comics you know it's a very mature line so it's still a really good story the characters are all hilarious um, and it's just this really cool fantasy world and the art's really cool so Rat Queens is what I'm reading this week if you guys are interested in it definitely go pick it up um, I'll put descriptions uh, for Amazon for Volumes 1 and 2. Um, you guys can get your hands on that. But other than that, that's really all that's going on this week for me. Um, other than I've just been drawing. So definitely check out you know all my social media stuff. You know, Instagram for some of the stuff I've been drawing. Uh, although, <laughs> the past couple days, none of it's been really good. Uh, been learning more than I've been actually completing a drawing that's nice looking so sorry <laughs> um, but yeah also check out my blog um, I put up a melting pot story yesterday it's melting pot story number four and I'm actually getting a lot better at it uh, these little short story improv it's, it is improv like when you guys give me these story suggestions I'm just writing it down writing it down and going for it um, yeah I mean it I, I do the 1500 words roughly in about an hour and a half and then I just edit it real quick like check for spelling errors and then that's it so it's all really improv it's all really a lot of fun to do but I'm getting a lot better at it and I was really proud of the last one I did so if you guys want to support me in the projects that I'm doing definitely go check out my blog jonesycomics.com um, look at that melting pot story if you want to get caught up on it there's only four out right now so it's really easy to get caught up um, but here's the thing if you guys do um, enjoy it honestly um, not just to help me out but if you really like the work that I'm doing please go ahead and share that like on Facebook or any social media that you use because I want people to see that um, and I need your guys' help to get publicity. Um, I'm not going to get, you know, tons of views on stuff, anything right, like that right now. Um, but what I'm really here to do with my writing is to tell a story. That's always what I've wanted to do with it. So, by you guys sharing that stuff, if you do honestly like it, you're helping me out by getting the stories that I tell out to other people. Um, but it's a lot of fun. It's very zany, very goofy, and I take all you guys' weird story suggestions and I somehow twist it into a really cool story. So, that's why it's called The Melting Pot, among other reasons, but I won't spoil it. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, thank you guys for your support, and thank you guys for just hanging out with me on my Thursday vlogs. Uh, you know the drill. If you like the video, if you want to see more of the stuff like this, go ahead and hit the like button. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel so you can get notifications on when I put stuff up, which is every Tuesday and Thursday on YouTube anyway. And leave a comment about Apple Music or Arkham Knight and your thoughts on all of this stuff. Blah bitty blah bitty blah. <laughs> no, but seriously, let me know. I'd love to talk with you guys about it and see what you guys think. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Jonesy, and I will see you later! Got rubbed me.